Welcome to Noah Yachting's video check-in for yacht Moati. Moati is a Beneteau Oceanus 48. Let's get you on board and show you how she works. To start the engines, first make sure you're in neutral by checking the gear lever is vertical and that you can push in this red button to move the gear in neutral. Bring it back to vertical, when the button pops out you know you are in neutral. Hold down power on the panel and then hold down start once you hear the alarm. To excite the revs, push in the button and move the lever forward. Bring back to vertical, to neutral, the button will pop out, then you can engage in gear. To turn the engine off, hold down stop and then turn the power off to the panel. To run the bow thruster, hold down here to turn on. Push on the green starboard side to push the bow to starboard. And push on the red port side to push the bow to port. Hold down on power again to turn the bow thruster off. Moa T has a BNG chart plotter unit at each helm station. These are a touchscreen unit you can use to pan and zoom and select details on the chart. Push this button here to change your view into either split screen detail or sail steer information. The autopilot is controlled from the port helm station. This is the master GPS unit. The one at the starboard helm is the slave unit. So all autopilot is controlled from here. Here, to set autopilot, press S and auto, and it will hold your heading. To increase your bearing to starboard, hit plus 10. Or by single degrees by pressing plus 1. To increase your bearing to port, hit the minus. Or by single degrees by pressing the minus 1. To put it on standby, hit auto, standby. The shore power cable on Moti is located here next to the port helm station. Turn anti-clockwise and pull to remove. When replacing, push in and turn clockwise to lock. The shore power main breaker switch is located in the port lazarette or locker. If your shore power is not working, check these switches in this position they are on. If they have flicked to here, replace them to the on position and then check your shore power. Your extra equipment is located in your port and starboard lazarettes. In the port lazarette you have spare lines, a 50 meter line for the short line, an extra 12 meter dock line, spare sheet rope and another 12 meter docking line. Inside the starboard lazarette you have your spare fuel for the outboard, pump for the dinghy, spare anchor and chain, deck brush, baler, hose for filling your water tanks, a funnel, another deck brush, the oars for the dinghy and the manual bilge pump handle. To operate the manual bilge pump, take the handle, lift this flap here and plug in the handle, pump up and down to remove the water from the bilge. To fill Monty's diesel tank, you have a fill pond here next to the starboard helm station. This says diesel on it, make sure you double check this before you fill any tanks. Undo this cap with the winch handle and fill with diesel before returning from your charter. Cockpit shower is on the starboard quarter of the yacht. Open this flap and pull out your shower. Turn on by pushing laterally like this and then push to run the shower. The mix is done clockwise and anti-clockwise. Somewhere in the middle will be warm water. Clockwise for cold, anti-clockwise for hot. When you have finished, make sure you turn this off and run the water out so that you do not waste any water if the button is depressed. To raise the swim platform on Moa T, press on this button here, make sure there is no planks or people standing on the platform. Push and hold for the entire duration of the lift. Once the platform reaches the top, push down to lock into place. To release the platform, pull on the string from underneath the cabin seat, and then hold down on the platform button. The life raft is located under this panel here. 
to deploy the life raft, throw the bag into the water and pull on the line. The gas bottle is located in this locker here, as is your spare gas bottle. To turn the gas on, rotate this to anti-clockwise for open. To turn the gas off, rotate clockwise all the way to close. If you need to change your bottle, undo the bottle from the valve at this point. Place the bottle over the valve and rotate clockwise. Make sure to secure the bottles properly within the locker and then close the locker tight. Moiti has three water tanks, one on the port side, one on the starboard side and one in the bow. Each of these is roughly 250 litres. The fill points for these are located on starboard at midships, labelled water, port side midships, labelled water and on the port bow, also labelled water. To fill these, undo the caps with the winch handle fitting and then fill with fresh water. Make sure to double check that this is a water fill point and not the diesel fill point. When anchoring on Moiti, come to the front Open the anchor locker so that you can see the capstan and the chain. The remote for the windlass is located in this locker here. Remember to have your engine turned on and the revs excited in neutral to 1500 to 2000 revs. This will help charge the battery while you are running the windlass. The remote has two controls, up and down. When lowering the anchor, press on the down. If at first the anchor does not move off the bowsprit, lower a small amount of chain and then help it across the bowsprit. Always lower the first part of the anchor slowly as to maintain control and do not let the anchor hit the swing and hit the bow. The anchor is marked with colours at different lengths. 10 metres is marked with green. 20 meters is marked with yellow, and 30 meters is marked with red. Moati has 50 meters of chain in total. When raising the anchor, hold down on the up button. If you feel the windlass strain at all, stop and wait for the boat to get closer to the anchor. If the anchor comes up twisted or in reverse, get the boat hook and turn it the correct way. The life jackets are located in the forward locker just aft of the anchor in the bow of the boat. There is a light to go into the cockpit, open the flap, plug in the light. When you turn the switch on here, the light will flash once showing you that it's connected. Then tap this to change the brightness of the light. Your technician will check over all of your sails to check they are in good working order before your charter. If you would like to check these yourself, roll the sails out with at least two people and have a look over them. If you have anything you would like to report, take photos with your mobile phone and report this to the office staff. Moati has an in-mast furling mainsail and a roller furling jib. To release your mainsail, put the furling line on the port winch here and the outhaul on the starboard winch here. Release your furling line as you bring in the outhaul. Make sure you maintain tension on the furling line so that it rolls into the mast correctly. When furling back in your mainsail, reverse the operation. Open the clutch for the outhaul. Get the furling line onto the winch and ease the outhaul while you bring in the first line. Again, make sure you maintain pressure on the outhaul when you bring in the sail so that it rolls nicely inside the mast. Close the clutch and tension the outhaul. 
When rolling out your Genoa, put the Genoa furling line onto the port winch and pull in the starboard sheet. When bringing the Genoa back in, put the furling line onto this winch, grind in while easing slowly on the sheet. The main control panel is here in this locker on the port side of the saloon. Here you have your 230 volt AC connection and information. Here is your voltage meter, the water heater and battery charger, and then the plugs throughout the yacht. When this is showing here AC power, it means your 230 volts shore power is connected correctly. Here if the reverse polarity is showing, it means there is a problem with the power on the dock. See the dock staff about this. These are the controls for your electric cabin lights, your fridge unit, navigational equipment out in the cockpit. Here is your floodlight for on deck, water pump. Your bilge pump is controlled here, either set to auto or you can turn it on manually. For your navigation lights, push to the left for motoring and to the right for just sailing. Your anchor light is controlled here. To check the levels of your water tanks, press on these buttons. Press again to change tank your diesel, and your battery levels. The VHF radio is located up here above the chart table. To turn the VHF radio on, rotate the power or volume switch. The International Distress and Calling Channel is channel 16. To adjust the sensitivity of the radio, rotate the SQL button for squelch, volume here, and to change channels here. Channel 17 is the channel that Artsy Marinas and many port authorities around Croatia are on. Inside the chart table you have your pilots and light list for the area, navigational equipment including compasses, dividers and rulers, pencils and the keys for the yacht. There's also flashlights, spare bulb for the LED lights on the mast and a hand bearing compass. Up on top you have the charts for the area and inside this cupboard you have the manuals for the yacht. To change over your water tanks, the valves are located under the seat on the port side of the saloon. You have three water tanks. In this position, the valve is open where the valve is in line with the pipe. To close, turn clockwise. Turn anti-clockwise to open the other tank. It's a good idea to only have one tank open at a time so that you can manage your water levels. The map down here for which water tank is which is one in the bow, two on port side, and three on starboard. One, two, three. The safety equipment is also located under these seats. Here we have your drogue, thermal blankets for emergencies, flares, bosun's chair, day shapes for motor sailing and anchoring, harnesses and tethers, foghorn, hatchet, engine spares, dinghy repair kit, three fire extinguishers and your toolkit. The first aid kit is located up here next to the navigation station. In here is also your binoculars and a spear inverter. The engine bay is underneath the companionway steps. There's also a port here to put through the fire extinguisher hose in case of a fire. Do not open the companionway steps. Poke the nozzle through here to extinguish the fire. The main battery switches and breakers are located here in the aft starboard cabin. This is the main battery switch for the motor, the negative switch, and the main switch for the domestic house system. In this position, they are on. Turn like this to turn off. This is the main thermal switch for the anchor windlass. If this is reset and sitting here, push down to on to reset. This is the thermal switch for the swim platform. The diesel fuel shutoff valve is located underneath the bed in the aft starboard cabin. Remove this panel and the valve is in here. The gas for cooking shutoff valve is located under here. In this position it is on. When you have finished cooking, turn this off so it is across the line. Moiti has two fridges, a top mounted chest fridge like this with an ice box in it. You can control the temperature with this valve here. We suggest putting this in the middle in order to conserve power. And another door opening fridge here inside the cupboard. 
The top mounted chest fr fridge has a pump drain to drain out the water. Press this silver button and it will pump out any excess water that is in the fridge. There are three bathrooms on board Moiti. The aft port head bathroom is the only bathroom with a black water tank on board. The valve to open and close the black water tank is located in the aft port cabin underneath this cupboard here. In this position, the tank is closed. In this position here, the tank is open. Remember, do not open this unless you are away from shore and away from other boats. Close this when you are near shore and in other marinas. Each of the bathrooms has a manual pump toilet in it and an electric shower pump. Push this black button here in each of the bathrooms to activate the electric shower pump. To operate the manual pump toilet, you have two positions in which this can be in. Over this way, with this symbol, it will pump water only out. When it is switched this way, it will pump water in and out at the same time. When it is to this setting, the bowl will naturally fill to a certain level. When you are finished going to the toilet, remove the waste by putting the switch in this position, then switch it to flush and pump 15 to 20 times to remove all the waste from the bowl and pump it up and down into the holding tank. When you are finished, swip this over to the other side and remove the excess water. Push the handle down and turn to lock into position. Remember, nothing that doesn't come out of your body goes down the toilet. Put the toilet paper and other sanitary products in the bins provided inside the locker. Thank you for watching this video check-in for the Beneteau Oceanus 48. I hope you have an amazing week. See you when you get back.